and we're ready to go. They actually look kind of the same. But you, you cannot compare someone with Echo with those eyes. Like, no one can do it like him. Sexy eyes. Sexy eyes. We get Twilight Drake for Echo in his handlock versus a Miracle Rogue. So we had that matchup just a second ago. The Miracle Rogue won. Big question, can, can we do it again? Or is Echo just going crazy card draw? I mean, he has a Twilight Drake already. Which is really good. So I think the first one should go... Well, it's too early to say, but the advantage lies on Echo's side, especially because he's he not only he has a Twilight Drake, but also the coin. So that's good. That's absolutely good. He can play one minion like an Ancient Watcher first. If he if he actually plays Ancient Watcher, we saw yep. Nim's version. No Ancient Watcher to be seen in his. Via's hand is rather sad. <laughs> As a seven agent conceal Blade Flurry, that could be better. And what is Akub going to get? So he, he just, I guess he went to the toilet or something. <laughs> he just waited for the 30 seconds to go away. Siphon Soul, Mountain Giant, oh. Faceless, and Twilight Drake. That's a really potent hand for Akub. Pain. Yeah, he can drop, he could turn out, uh, coin out Twilight Drake. Also, so far, that's good. Just just drop Mountain, continue with Twilight, Faceless Manipulator or something. That's really nice hand. You know what I think is kind of surprising? You don't necessarily want to play Miracle Rock against the Shaman. You know, Ekob loves to play Shaman. Yeah. So why do you pick Miracle as a first a first deck when you play Ekob? So you do not expect Ekob I wouldn't I wouldn't expect him to play to start with a handlock. Yeah but he's a genius. That's why he's starting with a handlock <laughs> and not with a shaman and you should know that he always start maybe always starts with a shaman and then you expect him to not start with a shaman because you think he's always starting with a shaman. And those are the Might Games pre-game. We got an Acolyte of Pain for Via out, so good card draw to come. May the pain begin. And there's a Twilight Drake, so we get a 4-8 Twilight Drake, and, well, nothing Via can do against it. Nope. That's actually absolutely nothing. Yep, I have to agree with you here. Like, he has a Conceal, Eviscerate, Leroy, as I seven and Blade Flurry. So how how is he going to get rid of a Twilight Drake? Not at all. I mean, that's just super annoying. Well, backstep, backstep, and then eviscerate <laughs> hero ability trade. GG. And that, that hurts like using so much for <laughs> one card. That's like well, he he kind of has to. We could just go weapon up and. Maybe just go for the face and hope he draws still the sap. I mean, if, if the enemy attacks your 1-3, you draw a card nevertheless. You cannot backstep then anymore. Yeah. Well, he's going to backstep his omen just to draw two, uh, one card and two cards in total. That's okay. Oh, he gets another Acolyte of Pain. So I would say that's value. Just drop your second Acolyte of Pain and go for crazy card draws. You could also go for the SI7 agent that just to deal the two damage. I mean, it would put down to six. He could put it down to five. And then he has an SI7 agent and eviscerate still. So that's cool. If Via, if Via wins this, he's a god. Oh, he has good card for potential. First first to come. Now that's a pretty nice thing. And there's a 5-9 Twilight Drake. Just go for the face. Would you just go for the face? Yeah, of mm -hmm. course. If there's a sap coming now, there would be so many cards for Via. Well, two. Are we going to see... Oh, what now? Yeah, they're Again? two cards regardless. Yeah. Is he just going to run him in and really hope for a sap? That's like super annoying. Yeah, well. He has an what eviscerate. What does he have? The problem is he has an eviscerate, but he has no trigger for it. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's, step. <laughs> that's so <laughs> annoying. That's a troll step. And that's absolutely stupid. Well, the good thing is he has the auctioneer. So worst case scenario, what you really don't want to do, but you could play the auctioneer and backstab your own minion again, just to draw two cards. Then lose the auctioneer. And then lose the auctioneer, absolutely. But you can, if you lose him to the 5 8, you can at least eviscerate him next turn. So that would be some value. Mm. But what else do you want to do? You can backstab the right one and eviscerate the Drake, but he's down I to 4. You're not going to kill him. myself for not clearing the board last turn. That's what I would do. How then then you will face the mountain giant nevertheless soon again. So yeah, you could have cleared. Well, well, one more turn. One more turn, absolutely. Well, he's down to 25. That didn't hurt so much. I guess auctioneer, just draw as many cards as possible now. Wow. 
Yeah, well, he clears a minion. He gets four damage on the board. Eight damage with an eviscerate. Gets a weapon. So there's good damage for him. And what does Echo want to do? He could, he could soul fire or something. He cannot siphon soul. He's one mana short. Just faceless at five eight. And just faceless at five eight. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't you Hellfire or play your Mountain Giant? I mean, you can taunt those two up next turn. Because so far away, if you lose your Faceless, it's okay. If you lose a Siphon Soul, nothing happened. This looks like a really quick win for Ekop. Like, uh, like no. two, two turns win. Oh, well, there's the preparation. Well, this could get interesting still. Auctioneer, preparation, conceal. If he takes 13 damage, he still has 7 HP, so he cannot. He might survive one or two more turns. And if he draws all his saps and everything, don't might don't count via do don't count via dead. There are like some options. Yeah, no. Don't be so <laughs> so so mean. down. No, there's no, like still there's good stuff for him to come. He can draw a lot of cards. His minions will survive, absolutely. So if there is no Shadow Flame coming, he will take next turn 15 damage if there's an Argus. But he would survive those 15 damage with 5 HP. No. He just needs to kill those two giants somehow. Or well, Leroy Power Overwhelming and he's dead. Leroy Power Overwhelming, he's dead. So that's 13 damage on the board. Molten Giant. We got that Defender of Argus. <laughs> Play faces on your giant. Be a man. Play faces on your giant? Like, why not? Why not? There's, like, no reason to not. I agree with you there. And there's three minions via need to kill now. So even even with another deadly poison and blade flurry, that looks disastrous, what is on the board. Uh, let's consider here for a second. Is there any possible way via could... Win, or at least survive. One or more turn. At least turn. survive against double giant and a five eight taunt. Well, he can at least kill one with blood myself as blade fury and eviscerate. So he can kill one. Yes. And then run in his auction on the other one. So two can die. He can clear two. Yeah, that's right. And he would take five damage. No, he doesn't. He doesn't if need to take damage. Three, he doesn't need to, but he wants to to clear. If there's no 15 damage incoming now, so then he cannot oh, yeah. afford taking <laughs> the 5 damage. You okay, life tab. And there's no, so now could get interesting. We got a 6 9 and a 9 9. That kind of hurts. What do we have for VM? So we, get, we got a Selness, Blade Flurry, for example. That would deal 4 damage. And then he can eviscerate for 5 the giant. He can run in. His two minions into the other through the Drake. Just run your Acolyte into the Drake first. Yeah, first to draw the card. But that's quite some damage to clear the board here. If he gets another Deadly Poison. Wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, that wouldn't change a thing. It would be. Well, he could shift for uh, two instead. Uh, 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 uh. Well, he can just uh, start with it first. There's no, like, draw the card. Uh. Oh, Coplot. That's actually interesting. Doesn't change it, right? Well, oh, well, well, it does. He gets a card. Blade Flurry, and you could keep and his. Wow, space. another eviscerate. So he can Blade Flurry now, and then just clear the six nine with his acolyte, and even draw a card. So that's just pretty strong. And as you say, if if we had the double giants, I agree absolutely. Well, okay, now that even the double giants would, would have, have died. died. So whatever but happened. The auctioneer would have been gone. Well, he could preparation eviscerate. So he didn't didn't need to run his auctioneer, and that giant True. would have gotten the blade flurry too. So let's just say, in the end, he could have cleared everything, whatever happened. And he, wow, that was just crazy. <laughs> and brings him down to 17. Oh, well, even further if he wants to. So he's he's down to 13. That was a misplay. And the molten giant can oh come now. Damn. But the pro well, he can play a molten giant, but he cannot siphon soul. So that there may be a taunted Molten Giant, but he has an Eviscerate, he has double fan of knives, he can kill that Molten Giant easy mode. Well, not easy mode, but he can kill him. So I guess... Uh, he could play Leroy, for example, Eviscerate, wait, 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 wait. Shadow Step Leroy. That's one damage short. 
I see one damage short at the moment. If there is just a taunted up giant coming. No, I don't see a damage short. Well, if he like oh, there depends on the model coil and so on. So if he hellfires here, he hellfires model coils, plays his giant for zero and taunts him up. So that's pretty good for him. Zap, 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 zap. We can. What can he do? So he's on two HP. Zap and win. Yeah, he Bam. needs he needs to draw zap and win. Zap. That was like okay. Value. <laughs> GG, in the end, Via manages to win here, and you were like, he has no chance to win anymore. No, I, I didn't say he has no chance. I was anymore, ho I said holding up the flag here he for he's the He's a god if he wins, and apparently he's a god. That was really well played by Via. He had some <laughs> nice draws, and just the play where he killed all the giants with Blade Fury and stuff. Big value, like yeah. it was bossy. He was on 20 HP, he took 15. So, enemy has Leroy, you're dead. Yeah, that's working. And for Echo, we see his famous shaman. You were talking about it. so Not really surprising. Now he has to face the shaman. Will we see it win or not? I think we're going to see it win because it's Echo shaman. Like, it usually wins. That oh, golden, golden doomhammer doom is so beautiful. Damn. Yeah, sadly, we cannot show you this game from two perspectives. That's because Timo screwed up, guys. That's at least that's no player fault. That's... <laughs> Our own fault at the moment, and that's what happens if you do a live production with broke uh, with, with recorded Timo. with <laughs> recorded games. Things like this can happen, and we can deal with it. And a good start for Echo here. I mean, he has a one-one out early on, and just another Argent Squire. So he has a strong early board. Just drop a totem. Drop a totem. Drop a totem. Well, the advantage is if you drop both, you can do two damage overall every time. Yeah. And what does Via want to do? Turn two. So he can he can kill one. Uh, he can he can burn the armor of one. The divine shield. That's uh, not going to hurt you. The good thing if you do it this way, you get next turn two one ones and two totems out. Yep. And that looks like an extremely impressive board. And he want to taunt totem as well. Oh. Or spell damage. Like spell general damage totems are just awesome. I mean they're so pretty. Aren't they're, they? Did, did you say they're so pretty? Well, if you have gold, I like totems. If you have a Golden Shaman, they're extremely pretty. And he has a Lightning Storm already. So if there is a Concealed Auctioneer coming, he can Lightning Storm the crap out of it. And that's good. Taunt Totem now would be absolutely perfect. So his 1-1 minion might survive. It all comes down to if they're fan of knives. Is, there, is he going to backstab the Totem SI7 agent, something like this? Yeah, even fan of knives is just like... Well, he kills the 1-1, one, one, breaks the shield of the other one, and he could just weapon down the 0-2, taunt totem, and yep. then next turn go for the 1-1. One, one. So, Fan of Knives now would be cool. You would draw a card. The problem is Ikop has no real follow-up right now. Yeah, that's the biggest problem for Ikop. He has a Doomhammer, but he cannot play it. He can only totem, totem, totem. And as you say... He would like to have an Unbound, he would like to have Ferris Spirits, something yeah. like that. Unbound would be completely crazy. Now we see the Fan of Nice, so card draw and killing one Argent Squire. Turned out really good. The healing totem is nice, it's just going to heal up itself every time. There's the Unbound, <laughs> wow. That's going to help a lot, especially with the Doomhammer next turn. Wait. Yeah, he kind of needs to play the Unbound. Question is... Is he going to Lightning Bolt the face? He doesn't want to, but he would make his Unbound Eviscerate proof. He would make it Eviscerate proof, and he cannot play Doomhammer anymore next turn. So so would only die to Solnus Eviscerate, or Backstep Eviscerate, or Shift Eviscerate. I guess it's possible to Lightning Bolt here to make what you said. Uh, the good thing is, if you get your Doomhammer turn 5, in total, Doomhammer is 16 damage. So even if you don't buff someone up, it's still 16 damage. And if you draw one rock biter, it's already more. You can add six damage more in total. So you get 22 damage overall. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, and that's just crazy. So, yeah, I know what you mean. But I just value Doomhammer so high. He get already, he got 16 plus a lightning bolt. So 19 damage plus the 1-1 one one on the board, 20 damage over the course of the game, if the game goes so long. So you need four turns. Until turn eight, he needs to hit him every turn twice to actually make it happen. Hmm. What can Via do? So, as you said, 
just try to throw an eviscerate if he has one. He might not want to do it uh, since next turn is the auction your turn. And double preparation, coin, go crazy, get a lot of value from your spells. There's always a lot to consider. Backstab, eviscerate. Oh, backstab SI7 agent? Backstab SI7. That makes sense. Yeah, I was like, backstab eviscerate, and then he should have killed the 1-1 one -one with the backstab. Exactly, yeah. So now he has the Doomhammer, but as you say... Totem Lightning Bolt. Totem Lightning Bolt, or just Doomhammer and go through the face. You could also Doomhammer and kill him with your 1-1 one -one and one string of your hammer. You really want to have the Taunt Totem. You really want to have the Taunt Totem? Yeah. Uh, but you wouldn't kill the... Like, you would kill the 3-3 three three absolutely, or would you leave it alive? I would kill it. Well, it depends on the Totem. If I get a Taunt Totem, I would keep it. The most annoying thing against America Rogue is always you leave one minion one cold time blood, alive. Cold blood, yeah, and it's already co blood, co blood, and conceal worst case scenario. As a shaman, you have the potential to lightning storm, so that's good. But then your lightning storm still needs to hit perfect. And or you get a you get a totem. Yeah, if you get a totem, that's like easy mode to kill at least the SA seven agent. Turn five for Via possible auctioneer if he has it in hand, but if he had it. We might have seen it instantly. Mm. With no preparations or conceal, it's always risky. Especially if you see your enemy's Doomhammer. So it would be 8 damage he would take to clear an Auctioneer. But I feel the value in just clearing an Auctioneer. Oh. Acolyte of Pain now will get Earthshocked. Well, he, okay, no need to Earthshock it anymore nope. after he drew everything. Well, he can diminish one card draw at least. If you want with your Earth Shock. You want to keep your Earth Shock, I guess. Well, you get like, your Lightning Bolt and you get your Lightning Storm and an Hex. If there's an auction you're coming, you can deal with it. But as you say, if there's Van Cleef, you want Earth Shock. Or at least, yeah, Earth Shock, some auction your Lightning Bolt it away. That's now, well, I would now in this situation just kill the right one with the Earth Shock, hinder him from card drawing. You can kill the left one too, Whoa. and deal four damage to the face again. So enemy down to sixteen. With a rock biter, next turn he would be down to six. So a rock biter can turn everything in Ekop's favor instantly. That'd be crazy. Well, he's on thirty, so he's not only having a lot of damage to deal, he also is pretty healthy. Via hasn't dealt one damage point to Ekop at the moment. Yeah, there's still the hex, lightning storm, of course, defend of Argus. Next turn, you could also just like totem up, play defender, be set. The good thing is for Via, he can afford losing a game actually, since, yeah, well, he's 1 0. So if Ekop manages to pull this off, wow, Philomantle. So that's three, that's seven damage this turn if he wants to go for Philomantle. But we might see Defender of Argus into those two totems. I mean, it's yeah. turn seven incoming, so you need to look out for. Crazy Van Cleef, Deadly Poison on the weapon. I guess that's the biggest threat. If he Deadly Poisons his, his weapon, you really want him to Blade Flurry instantly or just start hitting your totems. Get totem. Damn it. Both things are good. I mean, yeah, you, you get a 6-5 minion out. Both is fine. I just see the risk of Isurdike Eviscerate, for example, or Salnus Eviscerate. Absolutely. Still, he's down to nine. Not only, yeah, a rock fighter would win him. Um, a lightning bolt. Well, he would need to get a lightning storm, a uh, lightning uh, spell damage totem. Alakir to six. Yeah, with Alakir he wins two. So there are some good cards he can draw. If he has a lava burst, that will win him the game too. So there are quite some cards Echo could draw from his whole deck to pull off the game here. And Via needs to clear the 6-5, as you say. He wants to have Eviscerate, Spell Damage Eviscerate. Yeah. At least Backstab Eviscerate or, well, Backstab SI7, whatever. Backstab Blade Flurry. There is some place. But you need to kill the 6-5 or it's just going to kill you. And you don't want to bounce it. <laughs> no. If you bounce it, three more damage in your face, four more from the weapon, you will already be down to 2 HP. You cannot afford dropping to 2 HP. 
And there's the, well, there's the sap. We we're talking about it, but that's gonna hurt long term. Not if well, Bia has even short to midterm, I'd say. Well, if Bia has everything here to win the game, that was the correct thing to do. So he cannot know. Like Akob at the moment cannot pull off lethal, so double eviscerate for Bia, and I guess that there is some crazy Van Cleave coming. Van Cleave, and is he going to conceal it? Close. That would be a 12-12 Van Cleave concealed. Ooh. But he couldn't attack with his weapon. Oh, he could. He did. Yeah. And that's one damage short for him. Oh, Echop. Yeah, Echop cannot go for for I win the press the I win button. No. <laughs> he needs to unbound and defend off Argus, or he's going to die. Yep. The good thing is he brings his enemy down to eight. If he plays defend off Argus and his totem attacks, so he brings him down to eight. And if yeah, his one one three totem brings him down to eight. Mm. If he's not attacking with his weapon, still hoping for the rock by the weapon. No and reason to attack. Yeah, and if Echo attacks back, uh, if Via attacks back on the one three, he will be on seven HP, and then Echo wins. So at the moment, with the one three totem, he has enough damage to win the game. With a two three minion too, Via needs a blade flurry to stay alive, hundred percent. If he only takes one damage point, he's just screwed. <laughs> or he gets an Earthen Ring. Earthen Ring? Yeah, Earthen Ring would help a lot. I always tend to forget Earthen Ring for CS. So you're like, sure, you calculated your damage, and then your enemy plays an Earthen Ring. That hurts a lot. Earthen Ring Blade Flurry would be funny. That would be devastating for Echub in the end. And that's what I said. He's down to seven, first of all. Well, he knows he's in trouble. Okay, you can stab. GG. Oh, he forgot. <laughs> That's like 12 damage. Down to 4. But yeah, not enough. So GG. In the end, for rack up. He's going to pull off a win here. That was quite cool. Fire Elemental. Fire Elemental and win. So, nice game in the end. And it's 1-1. One, one, Via versus rack up. Extremely close. That was extremely close. Because Unleash the Hound is just real painful. I would slightly favor Via in this matchup. Like oh. Echop, Echop has a good Shaman deck and he already has two Defender of Arguses. But in the end, I would favor Via. Yeah, yeah. I, I would definitely favor Via. Like he, he has an Arcane Golem, he has a weapon. So that's like some super strong board. He has Unleashed the Dogus. And Animal Companion, although. And just like he started with Labrino. Lever Gnome is just such great value. It's just looking great for VR already, in my opinion. But double defender of Argus Two for Echop. Two damage to the face. Would you go like coin, eagle nope. horn bow, or nope. coin nope. huffer? Nope. Just just noping me here? Yep. Nope. But Misha, that's cool. I guess nope. I would have <laughs> killed I guess I would have killed the Salness. You would? Yeah. Why? Salness is out. If there is a lightning bolt, rockbiter or lightning bolt, you lose your Misha, and that's like too much of a risk in my opinion. Like you, unnecessary risk. You didn't need to take. And he even gets a taunt totem. That's super BM from Echop. Just getting the taunt totem early on. Nice eagle horn bow, so he can deal this three damage and brings Echop down to 25. And he has a kill command in hand. Plus unleash, plus arcane golem. There is already some damage for Via. If he continues with killing the totems like this, it's turning out perfect for him. But if Echop, just yeah. like, if he kills the 2 1 and gets a taunt totem, perfect. Just perfect. He thought about maybe dropping an Argus, just hovered er over mm. it for a second. Like you could get a 2 3 minion out, and those 3 damage from the bow will go into your minion, at least. I don't think they will. How much damage could he deal next turn already with Arcane Golem, Leopard Gnome? So he can deal 9 damage if he wanted to. That's a waste since he can use a Steady Shot also. That's half the damage Arcane Golem does for 2 damage, uh, for 2 mana. I guess Echo needs to, you know, in my opinion, he needs to get a Totem and a Rock Biter away the Leopard Gnome, even though that hurts a lot. Drops Defender. I guess. 
trekking. Well, I guess trekking. Uh, first of all, see what you get. Yeah. If you get a trap, you could consider a not eagle horn bowing. If you get an, if you get an eagle horn bow, I would just kill the two three now. Really? I would just go for the face. But would you go for like you can? But Why you can would, like you have unleashed the dongas on your hand, and just let him, I don't know, fill his board. And the thing is, you don't want to lose your you, two you one. Could, you could even go timber wolf. But you can't. It doesn't matter. Those are three great cards. The but timber you wolf is cool. I agree. Uh, Eagle Horn Bow or Timber Wolf, I don't see the explosive trap. I, I saw the Timber Wolf there. I agree with you, but I haven't seen uh, the explosive trap. Yeah, it's not manly. Well, he's playing it correct. <laughs> yeah, he's playing it safe. The main problem is if he goes Arcane Golem, well, Ekop could go Tomb Hammer. Too damage to the face. Too damage to the face. Too damage to the face. Well, he might consider playing his Eagle Horn Bow, so next turn he has five mana to drop his stuff. He can also drop five mana with. Oh, well, he Eagle loses two damage. Absolutely. You don't want to lose two damage. What's Echo want to do? Like Doomhammer? Yeah. It's take, like take four to the mouse. No, nah, that hurts. Like he's going down to seventeen already. And he's overloaded. He's overloaded, and he cannot play his fire elemental. Nope. <laughs> Via saying thanks, especially with like Eagle Horn Bow, so he can bring him down to twelve in this turn. Wolf Rider Arcane Golem. What? Wolf wow. Rider. That's like some screely. No, no, weapon. No, you weapon, weapon and because you can next turn all though go Wolf Rider. Yep. And attack with Eagle Horn. So he can deal 5 now. And next turn he could deal 7, 10 additionally. But then he would survive by 2. Doesn't matter, he has a kill command. You can go also Wolf Rider. Damn it, yeah. Both plays are absolutely okay. Doesn't need to Eagle Horn here. Can also Eagle Horn next turn. In the end, it comes down to the same damage. Mm, no, not necessarily. Well, if, yeah, if, his minion if he's attacking, but he's using Lightning Storm. Yeah, if his minion would survive, same damage. But that's just a Lightning Storm. Overloaded again, so we're not going to see a Philo Mental here. Echo did some damage, so he rocked him down to 16 with that Rock Biter Dab Doom Hammer. Mm. But Via is like, his hand is just so good. Eagle Horn Bow, bring him down. And there's just that one kill command. He's down to seven, so Owl, kill command, steady shot, GG. Game over. That was like... See ya, Ekop. That was rather fast. Via is just going to win this best of three here, and Doge House will get destroyed. Not. Oh, he has... Of course. A, I, was just, I, was just, I wanted to say, not. And then I was like, oh yeah, he had seven. So he, he, could, he had seven. He, he also has a weapon. Yeah, he can. The thing is, he can just iron beak all the way the two two. Oh. But he doesn't even need to. So he can deal five plus the two from his steady shot, and it's already GG. Would you have silenced the defender of Argus and then say oops and then kill him? No, nope, I would <laughs> just go straight for the face, win the game. Okay. I know, I know, Ekop, So I might I, have I, done yeah. it just because. I